right, guys. Time for nerd block. Good stuff. Yeah! That didn't really pop out, but that's okay. Because <clears throat> you want to be hydrated when you're doing unboxings. All right. So, Nerd Block is one of the ones I look most forward to in the month, which I didn't see coming at first, but now I'm realizing that I do. Because um, it's, it's the most expensive one, it's $30, so I'm always was a little nervous at first, but when I saw the boxes, I loved them. They have great quality, and they definitely give you your money's worth. Also on top of that, they have a lot of creativity. Things you're not going to find other places. I like that too. So, let's get into this bitch. Right off the bat, we have a grumpy cat. A little nerdy grumpy cat. Look at him. Aw. Oh, how could you be mad at that? It's so adorable. And it's so soft too. And it'll sit on its own. That's, that's super cool. I like that. I like that little cat. For sure. Well... That's a cat. Next, we have a Scatterbrains. It's a little dart set. It comes with three like sticky darts and it comes with a dart board. Um, this one, I don't think was really anything. Um, the, although it is bigger in size, I don't think it's big in value or quality or anything like that. I think this is more of a filler one. Uh, this reminds me of Booty Bin, which I've never done by the way. If you've ever heard of Booty Bin, you know what I'm talking about. They would just put in stuff like this. has nothing to do with anything. But anyway, um, that's in here. That's fun. It's just a fun little toy thing. It's not super nerdy themed or anything like that. It doesn't keep in any theme. It's just a fun toy. So this is a more of a filler thing. This is not one of the main events. So don't worry about that. Next, we have our comic book. Star Wars and Planet of the Apes together. Now, I don't know if this comic book was made specifically for Nerd Block or not. It seems like it's an exclusive, but I don't know if it's an exclusive cover or if the whole thing is. But either way, I mean, that's cool. Um, I have mixed feelings about that. It's not like a number one or anything. It seems like a standalone thing, and artwork seems okay. So, okay. I would think charging normal comic prices for that, like $3.99. Okay, it's in there. Not really a deal breaker, but it's there. Next, we have some elf ears. So if you're feeling elfy, like, put on these ears. This one I'm not that thrilled about because it's like, I'm, I'm never going to wear these. These have no use for me. These seem way too specific of a nerdy thing to do. you got to want to dress like an elf to have these. So I'm sure someone does. But I'm sure if someone wanted to dress like, like an elf, they'd probably have their own elf ears already. So I don't think they needed them. So that one's kind of weird. Um, not valuable in any way. But it was in there. Gonna keep on going. This one. Bookmark and a pen from Lord of the Rings. If you can see it. I'll open it up. If I can figure it out. So the bookmark, Gandalf, looks really cool. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it changes as it moves. That's a cool bookmark. That works out well. It looks 3D. Awesome. And to come with it, it comes with a staff. You shall not pass this pen. So that's cool. I think it's cool and creative. Looks like his little staff, and you write with it. I wish you wrote at this end. It didn't flip around, but either way. That's cool. So that's in there. And I, and I like that. You also had different options. Um, you could have gotten one with the little hobbit sword and different bookmarks. This one was fine for me. No complaints there. Cool. You also got an additional dart board. This is also one for decision making that can go along great with your little brain darts game. Cool. Then we have a t-shirt. And this one, 
the sonic screwdriver right there plain and sim simple no joke about it it just is what it is it's not going for funny it just is there now this one I'm kind of bummed about not because of nerd block it's not their fault at all just because I've never watched Doctor Who, and I, I need to now. It comes up so much, and it's in so much pop culture. I need to just watch it, whether I like it or not. I need to just watch it so I know what they're talking about half the time. I know what the sonic screwdriver is, because I've seen kids carrying around that thing. And I know what it is, but I have no appreciation for it, which is such a bummer. Because it looks like a cool shirt. looks like one I would wear. So... I need to check it out more, so I don't appreciate this shirt that much. It doesn't make it a bad shirt, though. It's still a good shirt. It's still good quality. And the people that like Doctor Who are going to be crazy about this. So cool. And then, is that all of them? Got one more item, and this is the last one. And I think this is really what pushed it over for me. So this is an original film cell from... Star Wars, Star Wars 5, Empire Strikes Back. Now this is very cool. Hold on. This is very cool. Let me see if I can put a light behind it and show you exactly how cool it is. Can you see? Can you see what the picture is? Is it too blurry? camera doesn't focus. Anyway, you got, you got the gist of it. Here it is, it's this card, and right here is a single film cell from the movie. And when you hold it up to the light, it's the scene with Yoda and Luke. Yoda's riding on his back. Awesome scene, awesome picture. I think that's really cool. And they little have a certificate, a little card of authenticity in there somewhere. Yeah. Certificate of authenticity. I've actually bought it from this company before. But it's cool how they put it in a little, like, frame-ish thing. They put it in a little cardboard to make it look nice. I think that's really cool. That's really special. It's something that you have to go look for. It's something from the past. Like, that's cool. Like, these are things I appreciate. That stuff, I think, is really cool. Not all the time, obviously, but little stuff like this where you wouldn't think much of it, but it'd be really pleasant to put in a box. I really like this. This is exactly how I felt about the, uh, the Willow, the... Warwick Davis autograph. Same thing. Like, it's cool. Now, it's not worth a ton. It's pretty cheap. And if you were to find it on your own, it wouldn't cost much at all. But it's just really cool and it's creative. It shows they put some thought into the box. And I really appreciate that. So, I liked it. Alright, let's get into an overall valuation of this box. We gotta wrap this box up quick. This is like my fourth video tonight. I'm getting drunker and drunker, and it's my words are starting to slur, it's not starting to make sense, so we gotta move through this shit. Like we ain't got time for this. So let's just jump right into it. Valuation of our classic nerd block. The fuck's my t-shirt? Fuck, bro. T oh. Haha. <laughs> It was in the box. Okay. Sonic screwdriver t-shirt. Good quality. Like the colors on there, the texture on there. I that looks like it was printed very well. And it feels like a nice shirt. It's like nice and thin and stretchy. Like, wow. I, that's why I'm so bummed. I wish I appreciated this more because this seems like a good quality shirt. Dang. But either way, 15 bucks. No argument. Don't worry about it. Not even gonna. This little fun game, the the Scatterbrains. So this is very cheap. You can get these at Toys R Us and stuff to this day for a few dollars. At the high end, like five. And then if resell online, charges like high as eight or something like that. But for argument's sake, let's just put it at five to keep it easy. Five bucks. There you go. The cat. Grumpy cat. I love this little guy. And he's so soft, too. He's crazy soft. That's cool. I, Grumpy Cat's funny and he's got his nerdy glasses on. I'm totally putting him up somewhere. I'm going to find a space for him. He's going somewhere. He's cool. Um, the cat, uh, as little as five, but all the way up to ten because he's such a big thing right now and that 
the per the owner is really into marketing, so they're gonna get every penny out of people they can. So they could easily charge ten bucks for this. I wouldn't be surprised at all. So I'm gonna put that at like ten, and then. The ears, elf ears. Unfortunately, these are a cool thing, but I looked online. People are selling these like crazy. Not just this brand, not from the box or anything. You can buy elf ears for a dollar, if even that, a couple cents. They're just very easy to make and replicate, and they don't cost any materials. So they're just cre incredibly cheap. Like the most expensive thing about this is like the cardstock they use in the packaging, which is apparently NerdBlock exclusive. So this is cool and this is funny because it's nerdy. I'm never going to use them, but and it's super cheap. So I, I don't even know if I can put this at a dollar because most of them are cheaper than that. But something like that, a buck, buck or two. That's what it is. Sorry, guys. And you got a little dartboard, another one. One's a dartboard. One makes you help decisions, help make you, de help make you, help to make Oh my god. Help you make decisions. Jesus. I can't talk right. Alright, our comic book. Now this, um, these three to five dollars. Uh, the Star Wars one we just looked at was five dollars, but normally comic books are three, three fifty. So I'm going to put that at three to five. There was nothing really special about it. It was a number one, but I think it's exclusive to the box, which I don't know if that means anything. So, comic, certificate of authenticity, okay. So next, we have our pen and bookmark. Now this little pair will go pretty pricey, actually. This is a really cool bookmark, and the pens are really cool, too. And you have a lot of options, like you have like Frodo and his little little dagger there and they have like the different characters with like their different swords as different pens so this little combo I can see going pretty pricey um, I can see you go for like 10 bucks for these two like for a nice pen and a nice bookmark even more than that though like $15 at like Barnes and Noble they would charge out the ass for this and people will love this kind of stuff I love this pen I'm totally gonna use it so that's cool so I can see it going for something like that and that's the value on that. Card. Okay, last but not least is the one that I think was the coolest was the Star Wars film cell. Now, unfortunately, this thing is really not worth anything. It has a very low value. People sell them online. Um, it's very cool. It definitely is cooler than it is valuable. Valuable. -er. Anyway, so it's cooler than it has value. Um, so I really like this. I really like having this. I'm going to frame this up nice and just have like a little piece of history right here. Um, the reason you would think this would cost more, the reason it doesn't have any value, is because you got to realize, like, it's not like it was from the original role that George Lucas had. It's just a random film role, and a lot of these are from previews. Like, previews have their own separate role. I bought them from this company before and got a Ninja Turtles one, and they just sent me stuff from a preview role. And they had the, just thousands of those throughout the country because they had to show previews. And then on top of that, they had to... for Just imagine every movie theater in America, all the movie theaters, like how many thousands of movie theaters there are, and in each movie theater... How many of those theaters are playing more than one showing of this in like different theaters? Like, so for three theaters, in one theater, there's like three or four playings of it, so they need different reels for every theater in America. That's a lot of reels of just this very scene right here. So they're just out there. People chopped them up and sold them. There's just so many of them out there to this day, because they don't really deteriorate, that it's not hard. It's not hard to come by. It's not hard to get, and they're just not expensive. So, so unfortunately, it doesn't cost a lot, but it's still cool. I really like that. But the value of this, I put it at like ten bucks, ten a little more. Some people are charging a little more, up to twenty, but around ten. So that's what it is on that. And I think that's all the items in the box. So what was I saying before my battery died and cut me off?
Oh, to an evaluation. I don't know when it cut off. Sure was 15. Brain thing, 5 to 8. Cat, 5 to 10. Elf ears, 1. Comic, 3 to 5. Pen, 10 to 15. Cell, 10 and on. They can charge a lot more for that cell. It could go up pretty high, but on the low end, 10. So, on the low end of this box, you only got about $49 worth, just under 50 which even at 50 is not not double. You paid 30 And like I've said a million times, I think the standard is double. All the other boxes are meeting the standard. It's a common thing that's happening, like they're all doing it. I think to get your money's worth, you need to get double what you paid. I just think that's the standard. I'll keep saying it all day long. I, as soon as it starts to catch on, I think it will, everyone's going to start expecting that when I think they should. Double. Um, so with that, you didn't quite get that. On the high end, you did. If you value these a little bit higher, 64, you did get double. You did get that. But that's valuing on the high end, and I don't like to do that. I, on a resale value, you never get the high end. You always get the low end. So I have to judge on the low end. And the low end didn't quite do it. So, that doesn't mean anything bad. That didn't make this a bad box by any means. That just means you didn't get quite enough value where you should. And that'll have an effect on the monthly review. That's just something to put in there. It didn't meet its, its, its value that it should have. So, that's just something to say about it versus other box. That being said, I like the items. I mean, I like the little plushy cat. The shirt I didn't understand, unfortunately. The ears I could care less about. The toy, uh, I could care less about too. Maybe I'll try it. Pen was cool. Comic, I mean, I'll check it out, but it doesn't look that interesting. Film cell was awesome. I thought that was a tiebreaker there. This was something interesting, something you don't see every day. That's cool. These are the kinds of things I like to see in boxes. I really like it. I'm glad there was no Funko Pop in here. But... I don't know, I feel like they could have stepped it up. Like with things like this, they could have picked some better quality of stuff, more specific to it. So I don't know. I'm a l I wouldn't say I'm disappointed, but a little definitely wasn't my favorite box, unfortunately. I had some quips about it, which is a big bummer, because Nerdblock did so good next month. Arcade block should be here any minute, literally any minute it should be showing up here. So I'm so excited for it. I really hope it's not a disappointment because last box was awesome. This box was just okay. So you didn't get double your value. But that's pretty much it for Nerd Block. It, it, it did okay this time. Um, it's so funny how this works. Like I keep thinking boxes are on top, that they're going to be number one spot. And then they one month and the next month they're on the bottom. It's just these are all over the place. I hope that the point of this monthly reviews is to kind of see these boxes, to watch previous ones and be like, well, this box was on top and this box was on bottom this month, or hey, this box was on top every month. Like, that's the point. So you can do an average of these things and get a box that's always good versus a box that's like hit and miss all the time. So that's what I'm doing these videos for. We've knocked out quite a few boxes tonight. I think I got like three or four of them, so I should be uploading them pretty quick. So thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. We got, we got a few more boxes left. New boxes, which should be cool. So I'm excited. Look forward to doing it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Love you all. Peace. Too drunk. I'm getting too drunk now. It's time to stop videos. I'm rambling, blabbling, blabbling, blabbling. Blah, 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 blah.